Right, so... <laughs> What, we are again. What, 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 here we are again. What are we doing? <laughs> the Vanus collaboration, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing a Vanus collaboration. There's a collaboration with a number, number of other YouTubers. We're looking this month at the top five space saving tips for your motorhome or caravan. This is interesting, isn't it? Because space is always at a premium in a, in a motorhome. Yeah. Uh, so I hope there will be other people who come up with some really good space saving <laughs> tips because <laughs> we've struggled to be honest. Now, if you look at the end of the video, there will be a card about where, about here. About, about here, right? Where I yeah. am again. Yeah. And um, uh, please watch the other videos. I think this could be a really useful collaboration because I think people will come up with different ideas. And uh, so take time to have a look at those other videos and let's see if we can struggle to think what we came up with. Well, we came up with... Yeah, oh, so number five. Number five we came up with, Poppy. Because Poppy. Um, <laughs> Poppy is a small dog. Yeah. And so she doesn't take up a lot of space. Yeah. So... I don't think we actually got Poppy because she was a small dog, but... No, but I think when we were looking at motorhomes mm. to begin with, when we had Katie, who was also yeah. a small dog, yeah. we thought, well, we can have a fairly small one because... Space is a small dog well, because space, space is at a pre yeah. premium, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, right. if you've you've got a motorhome full of dogs, then you know they can take up as much room as uh, as people. People, so, yeah. So that's number five. Lucky Tara is small as well. So <laughs> yes. Number five. Number is, five uh, is a small dog a and small not a big dog. dog. Yeah. Yeah. So apologies to anyone who's got a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, so don't get rid of your big dogs, whatever no, you do, no, so please. No, no. <laughs> we love uh, them all. Yeah, that's right. So number four. <laughs> number four. Um, we got a small barbecue instead yeah. of the big barbecue because we've got a big Kadak. Yeah. Um, particularly in the, the previous van, we found it was a struggle to, to get it in and out of the... Yeah, well, I mean, this, this van particularly, and I think previous vans, we've only really got the storage under the sofas and the beds, haven't we? Yeah. And some motorhomes have got garages, yeah, so, you can so, fit, easier, yeah. so you can fit big stuff in there. Yeah. Uh, and we sort of got one of those big Cadacs, you know, about this big and that yeah, tall. Like Travel trolls, like travel have trolls just are just got. got one like that. Yeah, yeah, I think they can fit it in the garage. So. Yeah, yeah. But, but in uh, here, where we've not got as much height or width in the lockers, it was quite difficult to actually fit it in and, and fit anything else in. Yeah, and I think we decided <laughs> the small one was okay for the two of us because yeah. we don't do elaborate cooking, do we? We, we don't really do cooking. Or, <laughs> we're like, so, like, so a couple like of we burgers and a few sausages yeah. seem to sort of like, yeah. and a couple of potatoes. Seemed to fit on the small one, didn't yeah, it? So that's right. So that's our tip number. Yeah, and I think it goes for any other equipment, doesn't it? So that's yeah. tip number four: small barbecue, not a big barbecue. Yeah, that's it. So tip number three, I came up with this one. Yeah. The fire stick instead of a satellite. Yeah. Because you said to me why, and well, the, the fire stick's a tiny little thing that fits mm -hmm. in the back of the. The telly. So, and you can move it from the motorhome to home as well. And you can move it from the house well. and whatever. Yeah. When we had the satellite, we had that horrendous, well, can I call it a mess? Meeting of cables <laughs> in the Yeah, <laughs> in the it cupboard. was a horrendous mess. Yeah, we yeah. Had, you've not owned, if you get a satellite, you need a satellite receiver. Uh, we were taking our Sky Plus box with us and uh, wiring it so that it fed both TVs. And it was a lot of cabling. It was a lot of... Uh, stuff in the cupboard and it just took up the whole sort of cupboard above the fridge so when we've got the fire stick that's it really isn't it there's no big dome on the roof or yeah or anything like that as long as you've got a reasonable internet signal, signal which we didn't have at Ashworth. no 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 but so, not so, good, good, so, so really good idea then yeah. <laughs> yeah. safe space but <laughs> yeah but you can't use it <laughs> we couldn't use it yeah. no um right so, so <laughs> moving on moving on quickly number two um We've really thought of this for ourselves, really. Yeah. A small TV instead of a big TV. And this is particularly in the lounge here. We're, we're not watching the big TV, are no, we? No, I'm actually thinking of, of taking the big TV out. So we're actually thinking of replacing it with something this size. If you can see that, it's what, nine inches screen? Mm. And you can sit that on a, on a worktop and uh, watch the TV when you need to. Um, this one we will be reviewing, this is the August TV, so watch out for the review of this. And uh, You've been tending to, what? when you've been in here, you've been tending to switch that on, haven't you, rather than the big one? Rather than the big TV. Yeah, I'm fine, I've yeah. got my, it's just the right size, my Yeah, one. if you're 
I don't know where I. If you're that close to it, then you know it's fine, mm. and you get a really good picture on it. I will let you know how I get on with that. Yeah. And I'm actually thinking of replacing our big TV uh, with something like that in the lounge, and we can just use the other TV in the bedroom, and yeah. that that would certainly save space. So what's number one? Well, number one, I think, and I think you find several of the others will come up with this, is things that collapse. Yeah. I mean, we've got a collapsible kettle, haven't we? Yeah. That's an outwell one. Yeah. Uh, but I think the, the best collapse thing we've had is the pipes. Yeah, it's the collapse uh, waste pipes. Yeah. So this little bag here, this little collapse bag, with four metres of hose in it, replaces all of this. Replaces all of this. Well we found them, them really good haven't we? Yeah. For even using them at a motorhome service point where you had to lift the uh, grate up yeah. and you used yeah. it there. I, I, motorhome service points can be the bane of your life because they've always got a, gr a, a if they've got those I mean, lift up lids, those um, not grates are they, what are they called? Manhole the covers. Manhole covers. Yeah. Manhole covers. You've got those, then you're always trying to manoeuvre the motorhome into position where the pipe's directly over it, and it it takes forever to do that. With the collapsed waste pipe, you can f pull it out, and normally you only need to use two or three of them and empty the waste, the motorhome waste, directly into that hole. Yeah, uh, because I mean that's the bit you can just use as much as you need, can't yeah, you? Yeah. Whereas it, when you had the great long thing. Yeah. You know, you, it was a great long. So, that, so anything really collapsible, but particularly the collapsed waste pipes, they really ought to have product of the year on them. Yeah. 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 So that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget to watch the other videos in the collaboration. I'll be interested to see what other space saving tips people have got. So that should be interesting. Uh, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Hit the uh, notifications icon if you want updates when we release another space saving video <laughs> and uh, if you give us a thumbs up or leave a comment on your space saving tip um, that would also be useful as well and that will help the channel yeah okay so then you can say goodbye bob goodbye bob i'm not going to do that everybody does that <laughs> silliness don't that'd they be, that'd yeah. be really silly wouldn't it i oh, know yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye then see you then